Hi guys, I'm Aysel. Because so many of you have been asking for this tutorial, in this video I will show you how to draw eyes. It's quite a simple example, so hopefully you'll be able to follow along. As ever, the sketch is in the description box. Get it so you can draw with me at the same time. To start off, I've created a custom brush. It's thick in the middle, but it tapers towards the edges. It's really become my go-to brush profile. And if you access the vector meter file below, you can save it for your own project. I love this shape because, in my eyes, it mimics an actual brush stroke the best. The beauty of working with vectors is that you can always make changes to your paths after they are drawn. And the beauty of working with the brush tool is that it's a freehand tool. Whenever I touch the canvas, my path will follow. For the eyelashes, I have created a similar brush, but it's thinner in the middle. We're going to use it a lot for the rest of our illustration, so keep it close. I want the eyelashes to be thicker towards the outer corner of the eye. So I select each lash individually and reduce the stroke width little by little. Same for the other eye. I've created a very relaxed expression viewed straight on. But let us know in the comments if you'd like us to make different angles and variations. Here I drew the inner corner, but I decided not to trace the entire waterline. I feel that looks more stylized this way. For the iris, I'm drawing a perfect circle with the shape tool. Make sure you hold down one finger while drawing. Be mindful that the upper quarter of the pupil is covered by the eyelid. That's why I'm placing the circle outside the actual eye area. To remove this upper part, I simply pull down on this node with the node tool. Time to give our eyes some color. Red looks cool, but I think I'm going to stick with a classical blue. As for the pupil, I'm simply drawing a black circle. Make sure you don't make your pupil too small, otherwise you can get that crazy eyes effect. The bigger the pupil, the softer the expression will become. You can add some highlights with some simple white shapes. And I'm also going to define this tear dark area by creating a triangle like that. I would consider myself a pen tool artist, but if you have seen any of our other tutorials, you can achieve pretty much the same with the pencil tool. And it's much easier too. My illustration is a bit more stylized, so I'm going to suggest the presence of an eyelid with some brush strokes in different colors. Using the flatter custom brush that I made, I'm drawing a few lines, like so. Under the eye, I'm creating more sporadic lines. They look a bit more like wrinkles, but more than anything, I want to evoke movement and make my illustration more dynamic. Great, now let's see our colors. This is when I like to make a few more adjustments to my shapes. Add a few more lines here and there. And now we're done with one eye. Let's just replicate what we did on this side to create the other eye. But remember, our eyes are not identical. So you shouldn't worry too much about perfect symmetry when drawing. Just have fun. For the final touch, I'm adding a subtle shadow cast by the eyelashes. And I'm creating a curve shape with the pen tool that goes all around the outer corner. And with that, we're finished. I hope this was helpful and you were able to follow along. Make sure you keep an eye on this space. We have tutorials coming every week. Thanks for watching.